Hi, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie a bunny dun, which is a comparadun style fly using a snowshoe rabbit foot fur for uh, the wing instead of deer hair. What we'll do here is start right behind the eye, just like always. Wrap all the way to the back, get a nice thread base on there. Trim off our excess thread. We can go ahead and tie in our tails right now. I'm going to use Coq de Leon from Lighting. It's kind of my new favorite tailing material for both dry flies and small nymphs. It's got a nice straight fiber that's got some nice kind of speckles in it. I'll trim off my excess. Wrap back to the back. Put a thread wrap underneath those to spread them out just a little bit. I'll use my fingernail to help splay them a bit. And then I can take and kind of separate them into two groups. And then I'll split those by just doing some figure eight wraps. Sometimes easier said than done. Takes a little bit of careful manipulation. There we go. Once that's done, advance the thread to the front of the hook where we'll tie in our wing. I'm going to take some hair from the bottom of this snowshoe rabbit foot. You can see where I've cut some out there already. You want kind of the crinkly stuff. There's some downy under fur. You can have a little bit of that, but the crinkly stuff works really good. This is a size 16 fly. I'm trying to look kind of like a pale morning dun. But you can make this look like pretty much any mayfly that you want. Works good for little betas and trichos as well. Tie in that clump of snowshoe rabbit. Lift it up, tie down in front of it. And go ahead and go in the back. Make a little bit of a tapering cut. Get rid of that extra fiber that's in the back there. Tie those butt ends down. Should kind of make that into a nice little tapering body behind the wing. Stand that up, make a few more thread wraps in front of the wing. Now I can kind of trim this to height. About the a hook shank in length tall. No stacking involved here like you would have with deer hair. Kind of trim up some of your loose fibers. Wrap back to the back of the hook. I'm going to grab my dubbing now on a nice tapering body. You don't want to load this up with dubbing. Again, too many people start out with way too much dubbing and then all their flies look much much fatter than the naturals on the water and fish and particularly picky fish will figure out that that really fat bug floating there isn't real and they'll skip over it and eat the the real one right next to it but if you make a nice thin body you'll catch more fish you'll fool more fish just keep dubbing up so you get to the back side of the wing, kind of stack a little bit of dubbing behind the wing there, and then force that wing back, kind of fan it out. Tighten up your dubbing, sneak in front and get some good wraps right in front. Nice 
kind of sandwich between that thorax or excuse me between the back and the front of the wing got a little extra dubbing there twist it up finish jamming that dubbing up against the front and the back side of the wing now you got a nice little head in front of the wing you can do your half hitches or whip finish After you've done your whip finish, uh, you can trim off your thread, and that completes a bunny done. You can tie these in multiple sizes, different colors. This one, like I said, imitates a PMD, but it's easy to tie these really small and imitate the really small betas that you might have in your area, or trichos even. So tie up something with some snowshoe rabbit fur, you'll be happy that it's a little bit easier to work with than, than deer hair. There's no stacking. Um, it's not quite as fussy to work with and it works great, floats really well. So that's a bunny done. Again, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, flyfishsd.com.